Well, the piece is called Philosophia Mekadesi, which is uh, Amharic words for migration and sanctuary. And I think those two words sum up what the piece is about. It's not a didactic piece, it's not, you know, a, a screed about uh, how people should act or live. It's a meditation on this notion that all living things have always migrated for various reasons, for good reasons and for bad reasons. Living things have always moved. They've right. moved in search of better living conditions, better places to uh, reproduce. I begin the piece with uh, the cosmic rain that perhaps brought all life here. But then it's about movement of people, stories of people escaping danger, utopian ideals of why people go, knowing when to go, you know. Mm -hmm. Someone who also not just loves science, but science fiction, this notion that life was brought here on comets, you know, through meteorites uh, from, as the debris of comets bringing organic chemicals and perhaps even DNA. We might not even have originated here. Yeah. Um, you know, when people talk about computation engines, you know, that are reality. I mean, for me, DNA is the comput computation engine mm -hmm. that could have created all life here. I see opera as a way of defining uh, audio and visual presentation. I don't think of it as necessarily telling a linear story. Mm -hmm. And in this piece particularly, it will be sung by a few different forces. Uh, Camilla Gibran, who's a wonderful singer, Palestinian singer who lives in Paris, will be an important part of it. She'll be singing Tracy's texts and Vox Nova Italia will be singing the other texts. In Tracy's texts, there are historical elements uh, talking about slavery and the, and the great robbery of Africa's population you know, to Europe and North mm -hmm. America, but also about refugees, uh, you know, very strong images from refugees from Syria, you know, escaping by boat and, and meeting horrible fates sometimes. So these are all elements in Tracy's text. Mm -hmm. Well, the process of writing music for me, a lot of times just involves sitting back and listening, you know, to, to mm -hmm. the void. I do a lot of my listening when I'm walking to and from home to my studio, mm -hmm. or just doing errands in Manhattan, riding in trains and planes. It gives one a chance to mull upon these things. Do you see any parallels between this subject and your own personal lifestyle over the years as a musician? Well, even more so feeling, I mean, my mother is a Holocaust survivor, so she was a refugee and she came to the U.S. in 49, so that story right. is always, you know, there yeah. in our background. And, sure. you know, so many of my other friends, I mean, everybody I know is from somewhere else. In New York City, especially, is yes. a city of people. Yeah. I mean, there are very few native New Yorkers. I think my wife is one of the few. You know, but um, it's, yeah, it's a city of immigrants, and that's mm -hmm. what makes it so vibrant. Speaking of my wife, she's the video artist Janine Higgins, and her work is also a very important aspect of this opera. Some ideas can't be put into words or music, and so she takes them into the visual realm. It's a counterpoint of ideas, and sometimes embodying texture, sometimes embodying ideas that are like the cosmic rain, you know, that's going to be a place for her to uh, create this, the setup for the entire piece. Mm -hmm both in terms of concepts and also visually in terms of design elements that she brings in. <laughs> 